Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another nail design to share, and I have already got my nails prepped. I have started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat, and I have on two coats of Brave Divas Polish in Gatorade Bath. Very beautiful, beautiful color. It's kind of washed out on camera. And then I have top coated that with Posh Top Coat and let it dry down. And today I am trying out these um, Beauty Big Bang Peel Off Tape Barriers. They sent this to me in the last batch of stuff they sent me. Um, they were not too hard to get on, which really surprised me. I'd been putting it off because um, I was worried about, you know, application. But it turns out it worked out really well. So, uh, I've got my little handy cup of water here. Was playing with something else a minute ago, so we have different colors in the water and on the cup. But I'm going to be um, water marbling with Brave Diva's Mad Dog's Ugly Christmas Sweater, which is a bright pink, and then that same color I have as my base. Gatorade bath. And I'm going to set these over here. And we're going to get on into it. Today I'm going to be using the water marble tool that Big Beauty Big Bang sent me. And we're just going to get on into it. I'm going to build my bullseye. I'm going to start with drops. And run this around the edge to make it spread. Wiping it off. And I'm just going to alternate with the drops of the colors. Until my bullseye is where I want it. Look how great these water marble. These are just perfect for this. You do want to let your circle kind of spread out and finish, finish that spread before you add the next drop. I can say one thing about these little finger protectors from Beauty Big Bang, Beauty Big Bang, is that they don't hinder your finger movement, and I'm not having to worry about my fingers getting stuck together with the latex. So I'm going to turn this this way. Just go for this area and dip in. And I'm still going to use my yucky toothpick to clean up the excess polish. Try to get all of it up before you pull your finger out because you don't want to get any of that extra polish on your design. And look at that. It just turned out perfect. Loving it. I am going to go ahead and get this off before the paint starts drying. At least I hope I'm going to get it off. I've never used these, so I don't know how difficult it's going to be. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too difficult. I am using my little Wistonia tweezers. So there we go. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's do another one. Pink is so pretty. Oh. And this is kind of like a peachy pink, like a super. The other one is just beautiful. I put it on my nails and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm 
little tiny one right there. Oh, I got a fuzzy on there. Still got a fuzzy. Get off there, fuzzy. We're just going to draw from side to side just like we did on the last one. And if you find your polishes are drying too fast and you're pulling your design, start further in on your rings. Don't, don't start so close to the edge of the cup. These, these aren't drying very fast, so these are wonderful for taking, taking your time, kind of. Alrighty, I'm going to dip right there. And if your polish isn't seeming like it's drying to where you can get it cleaned up off the top, you can blow on it and it'll dry faster. I'm going to pull out. Oh, I've got kind of a wonky thing going on right there, but that's okay. That's kind of the glorious thing of water marbling is you now they're all so different. I guess it would have helped if I would have remembered like which end. You know, like what, what, on this, there we go, trim it with my little scissors. But if I remembered which end I had laid on top of the other one to secure that, I would have just grabbed the end instead of having to worry about cutting it. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest off camera and I'll be right Okay, I'm back and I'm done water marbling. They're all pretty. And the tops, I don't hardly have any cleanup to do up around here, but look at this mess. Woo wee! So the little nail aprons do not cover that area very well, but that's okay because that's easy cleanup. And we're just going to pop it all off with some Q tips and some acetone and get that cleaned up. Gonna make quick work of it. All right, hopefully you can see that better. It's not glaring, crazy bright. It's it's just a you know constant thing for me in this this lighting situation. Okay, that thumb still got a little water on it, and this one has a bubble, and I'm gonna try to just push that bubble down. Get my get Woody involved. Try to mash it flat so that when I run my top coat over it, it doesn't pop it. Here we go. We're going to do some top coating. And then this one will be done. It's like a pink zebra. That's what this pattern reminds me of. And I hate that that ended up being like that, see that, that um, little blank space, but you know, it's, it's nail art. It's not always going to be just perfect. Well, it can be, but I don't, I don't ever get it perfect. I just get it good enough. I have just flooded the mess out of that. Get a little crazy with the top coat today. I was really pleased with how these polishes played in the water, and I knew they would. I've seen other YouTubers playing with them, and I've seen Miss Tara, the creator of Brave Steve Polish, playing with them, and I knew that they would do just great. So here we go, and do this pinky. Alrighty, my friends, my battery died again. Again, I have three batteries, and I just don't know why I can't ever, you know, have enough battery. Anyway, that is my final manicure. I hope that you like this one. I'm gonna get rid of all the lights, all the lights, so that maybe you can see it better. This is kind of washed out looking on camera, but in real life, it is very, very, very distinctive, very pretty. 
So that is it. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this water marble design. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And let me know if you water marble. I love talking water marble. So until next time, be good to yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!